Hi everyone, this is David and uh, we are sitting in the uh, Redbird Flight Simulator and this is my student uh, Steven and uh, we will be flying the ILS in uh, one way seven left into Daytona today so it's one of his first flights in the simulator for him so I will vector him, we will start around the land airport and then I will give them vectors okay so are you ready? yes All right, let's... okay so before we go, before we take off so here we have our nav one. Yes. Oh, that's the nav one. That's for the localizer. And here we have our com, right? So nav one, com one, nav two, com two. Okay. Yeah. So one thing that we can do before we take off, just simply set up for the ILS so that we will have less workload. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once possible. we are one. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And then I. What else could do you think we can do? We could set the localizer. We can already go ahead and set the localizer. Yeah. yeah. Take the tone approach and then will give us vectors, right? Yes. Okay, what else could we set? We could set the course. The final approach course, yeah. right? And that is 17. Yeah, 070, right? That is 04. 070, right there, exactly. Okay, there's another backup besides the time. It's the zero, uh, sorry, the 901 uh, <laughs> radio from Ormond. Ormond, yes. Okay. okay. So, what else could we do? The NAV1 is with the ILS in Daytona, right? Mm -hmm. The NAV2, we can Except go ahead and use Army. that on the arm. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. So, we are located at one way one two. Mm -hmm. So, we are flying the southeast heading out of the land. Yeah. And then we um, will go for a um, left turn afterwards. And I will give you vectors. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Are yeah. Good. Everything All right. Okay. Just make a normal takeoff as usual. Okay. And I will give you instructions. Okay. But remember, you also have your map here, right? Yes. So you do have a help. Okay. Cool. So um, we usually have to mention our um, altitude and our heading. As we are going out of, out of an uncontrolled airport, yeah. but we don't do that now because okay. it's just for training. Okay, you don't have to do it now. You're just taking off, right? You're in a climb, a constant yeah. established climb. What you can do is reduce speed. What? <clears throat> now you can identify already the uh, the ILS. You have your, your other um, GPS unit right here. What you can do is you can just go ahead and change the airport identifier. Mm -hmm. You can say, for example, okay, we use the direct yeah. um, mode, okay? Direct way. Direct to. Yeah. Yeah, we have Daytona Beach International. So what we do now is we hit enter. Activate. Yeah. Okay. 
and then we see our now, distance. Now we see our distance to Daytona. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you can tell them that you're about 10 nautical miles away to the that the direction would be to the southwest of the Daytona okay. Beach Airport. Okay. Now you usually mention Direct. your your position and your altitude before you request okay. your. Okay. Yeah. So do it one more time. At 2,000 feet. Uh huh. 10 nautical miles to the southwest. Request ILS one way seven left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. November one two three four Echo Roger. Um, squawk is uh, zero five four five. Okay. Squawk zero five four five. Right. So where would you put that in? Zero. And then the next thing they would say is, okay, uh, November 1, 2, 3, 4, Echo, um, radar contact, mm -hmm. uh, nine miles uh, to the southwest, mm -hmm. um, turn left heading of um, 360. Okay, turn left heading 360, November 1, 2, 3, 4, Echo, continue turning to a heading of um, 3. One zero. Turn left to heading three one zero. Kilo. November. Kilo November. Maya. November one two three four. Echo. Very good. So the next thing that you can do is because now you're currently flying at two thousand feet yeah. on the heading they assigned to you. Mm -hmm. And next thing you can do, as you have nothing else to do at this moment, you can set up the ILS. For one way um, on the GPS as well, for one way okay. uh, seven left. Yeah. You already have it right here. Yeah. So go take your approach plate and brief the approach for me again. Mm -hmm. So you start right here, right? So we have the ADIS information. Yeah. And we identify the um, the ILS, the yes. localizer, but not the NAV2. So let's identify NAV2. Okay. 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 So we unfreeze the set. Okay. So, uh, November 01, Romeo Bravo, descend and maintain 1600. November 01, Romeo Bravo, descend on 1600. November 01, Romeo Bravo, turn right heading 030. Okay, November 01, Romeo Bravo, um, you're two miles from the uh, localizer. Maintain 030. Uh, correction, fly heading 030. Maintain 1600 until established on the localizer. You are cleared for the ILS one way 7 left approach. November 01 Romeo Bravo. Uh, heading 030. Okay. Uh, maintain, uh, maintain, maintain 1600 until established. Until established on the localizer on one way 0. Cleared for the cleared ILS. For the ILS. Uh, one okay. Okay. This is tomorrow. This is the final approach. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you can double check. It's a, It's another backup to see when you are at the final approach fix. Okay. When you have NAV two is Ormond Beach. When you have, when you have the uh, the CDI centered. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now another thing that you forgot now, but it's not a problem. We have a marker beacon. Okay. okay the marker yeah. beacon is also. So what we do is we want to push MKR. Okay, click on procedure, select approach. We have to select one before we can activate it, right? Yeah. Enter. Uh, one way seven left. Here we have the airport. Yeah. We use the big um, cursor to go to the right. ILS one way seven left. That's that's the one we are approaching, right? Yeah, okay. Then we have transition. How do we want to transition? And now we have the options, vectors, almond, handout, which is a waypoint. Okay. I'm vectoring you, right? Yeah. So I'm, I mean, I pretend to be ATC, so I vector you, so vectors would be correct. So vectors, we hit enter again. See? It's coming in. Yeah. You're far off, so what you have to do, you just have to follow the needle, okay? Yeah. Make a big correction to the right. This is what you have to pay attention to when you fly yeah. the ILS, that you don't miss out on the localizer. Yeah, okay. Okay, because now you have to get it back. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, a little bit to the right, mm -hmm. to the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can take power out. Also, flaps in.
Okay, so yeah, it's completely perfect. 200 feet for our decision here to go there. Yeah. So you can see now one thing here. Now we, we have the rule, okay, yeah, okay. 91175, which says, um, which gives us our requirements in order to actually complete the landing. Are we still in the position where you think you can make a normal landing? Yeah, I think I can do it. You can do it, right? It's, yeah. still, do, it's still doable. Yeah. Um, you have the runway inside? Yes. Yeah, runway so inside. Yeah, 300, 230, as you can see here, is our decision altitude, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. you already have the runway and everything inside. Yes. So from that point, you see everything, the entire runway and the environment is visible. Okay. Okay. And you're still in a position in regards to the runway length, or the runway is like 10,000 feet, mm -hmm. where you could easily make it down. Okay. okay? So yeah. just do the landing. Yep. And you can make a normal landing, a visual landing now. Okay. you can do frequencies um, nav frequencies everything just set it in your instruments before you take off okay. so that you have the least amount of air work later because yeah. if you if you have one you want to flag the airplane yeah okay? it can be you don't want to be too okay yeah um you don't want you don't want to have too much other stuff going on yeah. besides flying at that point but as you can see you always have to do something Yes, so if you do something on the ground, there's already some part that you don't have to do anymore in um, when you're airborne. Yes. Eventually, right? But things can change. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But not bad overall. So let's go over. Do you have your approach, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go through the steps one more time. So mm -hmm. when you approach, okay, when you approach the airport and get ready for the approach, you, you start here. The ages, you want to have the weather information. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.